Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is the 13 decks of Halloween. <laughs> That's right, we're going to do 13 days, 13 deck reviews of the spookiest decks in my collection. Actually, there's plenty of decks in my collection that would qualify as a spooky or Halloween-themed uh, deck. Uh, but these are just 13 that I grabbed, uh, kind of at random, kind of not, uh, that we're going to show to you for the next 13 days. So, get ready. Here we go. Hey, today we're going to look at the Gnostic deck from Stuart Palm. Uh, what Gnostic is? Gnostic means secret knowledge in Greek. Uh, Stuart Palm, he's a magician, he's based out in Hong Kong. Uh, he did all the artwork on this deck himself, which is a really cool thing. Uh, it was produced by Lauren Sullivan uh, out there with the Legends Playing Card Company, and they are the printers of it. And if you'd like to learn more, you can visit legendsplayingcards.com. Uh, this deck is the Lapis Blue deck, um, and the deck is all themed around myth and symbol and story, and that's kind of why we're including it in this Halloween-themed review. It's totally built for magic. Cool Halloween aspects to this, it's you know done in a flat black, uh, your jokers have all these kind of like mystical symbols on it, the back design has tons of Gnostic imagery and like ancient religious uh, things, it's really cult-like, really cultish and it really pays like tribute to like this whole aspect of spiritualism from the front of the tuck case to the back, to the back of the cards to all over, it is really super super duper cool and if you want to learn uh, even a little bit more you can visit Stuart Palm's website at stuartpalm.com. Alright so that is it for this quick deck review of the Gnostic playing cards for our 13 decks of Halloween. If you'd like to learn more or see more about this deck you can visit our original review and we'll put the link below in the description. That is it for today for our Gnostic deck. Tune in tomorrow and we will look at the Moriarty deck from King's Wild Project.